Hello, I'm Lauren Bregesser, the audio professor. I'm gonna show you how to quickly edit drums in Pro Tools. So I'm gonna to use toms as an example because these are ones I usually wind up editing manually. And so to do this, I'm gonna use the commands keyboard focus mode, which I just usually call single key shortcuts. Uh, to engage these, make sure that the command keyboard focus mode is set to over here in the upper right. So there's A, Z, dot in the upper right hand corner of the screen. If that's glowing yellow or orange, then that means that's engaged so your single key shortcuts will work. So what I'm gonna use is basically two commands, A and S. So what A does is A takes it, and wherever my cursor is, it trims all the way to the left, or to the, to the next edit, basically. Um, and S does the same thing, but on the right side. And I hit Z, it's gonna undo that. So that's to give you an idea of the shortcuts that I'm gonna use. So the technique that I use, the first thing that I do is I duplicate the playlist. So I go and say I wanna edit this Tom track, I'm gonna to duplicate that playlist. So I'm gonna duplicate it, and I do that because in case I mess something up, I can always easily go back and go back to the original unedited version. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solo just this Tom track, and I'm gonna play it to where I hear the actual first Tom of this song, just coming up here in a second. So what I'm gonna do, since this is the first hit, I'm just gonna hit the A key, it's gonna trim from here to the beginning of the song. So the next thing I'm gonna do is hit play and wait till I hear the basically the decay of that tom go away. So I hit play. Right about there, uh, the rest of it gets buried in there. So what I do at this point in time is I hit the B key. So the B key breaks it. I, I usually think of B for break. So then I move up to my next edit point. So that's my next tom hit. So I'm gonna drop my key here, and now I'm gonna hit the A key, and the A key is going to trim from where my cursor is to the previous edit, which is right at the end of the decay of that first tom hit. So I hit A, and that trims to that point. So I hit play again. Right about there, hit the B key. Then I look, move forward to the next tom section here, which is a whole bunch of toms, so. So I'm gonna hit the B key, or uh, hit the A, A key, and it's gonna trim from this hit all the way to the end. And I'm gonna keep it open because this is just a big tom section. So I can quickly do this. Hit the B key there to break it, and then go to the next tom hit, which is here. Hit the A key to trim to that point, and hit play. Hit the B key to break it, and so on. Um, I think the next hit is here. So I place my cursor there, hit the A key to trim to the previous edit. Hit the B key to break it. Find the next Tom hit. Looks like we have two to go. Hit the A key. B to break it, and the A key. And I'll just go up to this point because we get the idea. Um, hit the B key. So the next shortcut that I'm gonna use is just the fade command. So I'm gonna use the F shortcut key. So I hit tab to get to the next edit point and highlight this and hit fade, or I can hit F or command F. I'm just gonna hit F because my, I have a nice S curve set up for that fade and just fade each of those toms. That's very qu quick and easy to do. So I'm in here, F, and so forth. And that's how you quickly edit drums or toms, but this technique really works for pretty much anything, is using the A and S, and then the B key to break it, as well as the fades if you need to. So that's a quick way to do it. Um, if you have any other questions, let me know, but I hope you enjoyed this quick video.